Welcome everybody to Royal Doors little tidbits on how to paint your door without ruining your glass. That happens so many times and I get so many phone calls in regards to this. Now this French door over here, it is a multi-light French door. We shrink wrap the glass in order to assist your painter to paint the doors. We make it so that it's easier to paint. This plastic is not impermeable. In order for the plastic to shrink to the size of the glass, we put, or the glass person, or the glass manufacturer puts little perforations in the plastic for the air to be released as it shrinks. Now, if you want to sit there and start spray painting the door, what's going to happen is all those little dots, if you look carefully, you'll see them, will let the paint through. As I said earlier, this is here to assist. So, what that means is, as you're painting, you still are careful around the edges. You're not going to go there with a two and a half inch wide brush and just start doing the Fred Flintstone and just painting all over the door. What's going to happen is the paint's going to pass through those perforations and end up on the glass. That would not be a big issue on clear glass. Clear glass, what you do is you get a little fine razor blade and you can actually scrape away the extra paint. But if you have textured glass, such as this, acid etched or sandblasted, when the paint gets on it, it's practically permanent. You've ruined your glass. Now, we can only shrink wrap the smaller panes of glass. The larger panes of glass, such as in this one, do not fit in the shrink wrapping machine. So hence, we have no means of wrapping them to assist you. And it's a little bit more painstaking to paint. What you have to do is, you have to mask off the glass. Most painters have a steady hand, but not everybody is that talented. So you're going to use proper masking tape. I'm just using this as a demonstration. I'm not using paint. painter's tape. I'm just using masking tape. So you just mask it very carefully around the perimeter. Now, it will take a little bit of time for you to tape the door off. But once it's done and you get going, it actually moves along quite quickly. Once this is done, this is fine. Just as I mentioned earlier, we have on textured glass, you have a smooth side and you have a textured side. On the smooth side, the tape adheres very nicely and firmly to the glass because it is very smooth the surface. Again, this is to assist. This does not mean that you can go at it with a brush and no paint's going to tuck in under the tape. Paint could tuck in under the tape. But it's there to assist, so you're going to do it very carefully with not a lot of paint and paint the edges. Now, I can't emphasize that strongly enough. Very carefully assist, because when you tape the other side of this glass, which is textured, because the textured is not a uniform surface, the tape will not adhere to the glass. Hence, if you put too much paint on that corner there, through osmosis, the paper on the tape will pull the paint underneath the tape onto your glass. You take off the tape and say, golly gee whiz, I masked off the door, I put the tape on it, and look at this mess that happened. What do I do now? That's what I mean. Sometimes it's a matter of patience in painting the door. You only have to paint it once. So just take your time and paint it properly. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.